What's Gucci peeps? Your boy T-Money up in the heezy. Happy Monday evening. Uh, back with you guys to do another collection update. I got a stack of movies to the right of me and a couple packages behind me. Um, so let's get into it. Before I get into the update, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have a few movies that I'm trying to get rid of. I own two copies of all these, so I'm trying to liquidate. Um, Bong of the Living Dead, great movie, comedy. Weekend Murders, which is a Code Red release. Uh, the Man with Two Heads, Code Red Release. Torture Dungeon, Code Red Release. And we have Code Red, I mean, <laughs> The Comeback, sorry, Code Red, which is an awesome proto slasher. I really like this movie. Uh, we have, I think somebody wanted this one, so we're going to pull back on that one. Uh, we have Your and Bloodthirsty Butchers, another Code Red. Uh, Andy Milligan Trash. We have Lisa, uh, which is another... Scorpion release, I believe. Uh, I think somebody wanted this one as well. Um, so I think Trick or Treats and Necromancy are reserved. If I don't hear from that person by Thursday, then I will uh, put it up for sale. I don't really like to put things on hold for people because then I get confused and I tend to forget. And I just need the money. Um, and I need it now. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I just get confused more first and foremost. So, uh, But we'll see. So yeah, those are all for sale. Um... And then I have a stack of, let's get into the update now. Uh, I wanted to get rid of this because it's been in front of my face for a while now. So if anybody wants a diehard UV code, uh, there you go. It's just not getting focused, so there we go. Uh, and I'm getting close to 500 subscribers, I think 600 subscribers, so um, I'm thinking about doing a contest for that, I don't know. Uh, but if I don't, then there'll be one soon, sometime. But um, So yeah, if you guys can spread the word, a lot of you already have, and I really appreciate your support um, and spreading the word. But if you haven't, and you watch my channel and you wouldn't mind um, promoting my channel, that'd be awesome. And I'd be happy to do that for any of you as well. Um, so... Let's get into the uh, the update now. All right. Um, what to do first? All right. So I wanted to share this with you guys. This is our super rad pin that I ordered from Cavity Colors. Uh, Motel Hell, obviously. It's, <laughs> it says it right there, but it's, yeah, super cool. So another one for the pin board. Um, and actually... thought I had that in front of me, but I guess I don't. So, um, let's see. But yeah, it's going to be a fun update, guys. I got packages from Cavity Colors, Ronin Flicks, and uh, my friend and fellow YouTuber, uh, Corey. Corey's Crypt is his YouTube channel, so if any of you guys... Um, want to check out another really cool youtuber i would recommend you go over to his channel and show him some support and he's just a really cool guy i like him a lot he's funny um and we did a trade he actually hit me up well i'll save it for when i get into it because i'm going to do a whole piece on that but so this is part two of my um of my um pinboard collection so Got some cool ones on there so far. There we go. It's never the best picture quality, but um, especially when I use the memory. Uh, I'm just gonna take off my jacket and get comfortable. All right. Um, all right, so let's get into the update portion of this video shall we uh all right so first up um i got a really cool movie uh or edition from um um dr butcher who i told you guys about he's a local uh dude who collects horror movies just like me and he's kind of liquidating his collection he's not crazy like me and he can get rid of things that he has two of and whatnot so uh i have been trying to collect the window box editions from arrow video uh slowly but surely 
and I have probably like eight or nine at this point. Uh, so anytime I can get a decent deal on a, a window box edition, I'll grab it. And I didn't have this one, so he sold it to me. Um, it's in pretty good condition, I would say, but it's hard to find these window box editions that haven't been like, that don't have minor, uh, you know, like blemishes or, or whatever, uh, creases on the sides. A lot, a lot of times the sides of the window boxes have little tears, but what are you going to do? You know, for the price and the general overall good condition, I wanted to add this. So I was really happy to add this. These are really, really nice. Uh, those of you who don't know, they were put out by Arrow Video. Obviously, it says that right there. Um, back in 2000, early 2000s, well, not early 2000s, 2011. So around there, at that time, they put out a bunch of these. And they all have, they're basically just really nice um, 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 cult movie packages, I guess, however you want to say it, but they have, they come with four different covers, so there's all the re reversible covers displayed on the back, and they're just really nice releases, so I like them very much, so I was happy, very happy to grab that, and then I grabbed a couple titles from, um, okay, so I grabbed four titles from the uh, Warner Video, Warner Brothers Sailor, whatever, it was four for 44, and uh, Popeye the Sailor Man, I grabbed volume one of that, and my pops is actually a huge fan of that, like, cartoon or whatever, uh, so I actually took it upstairs the other night and let him hold on to it, so it's not with me right now, and then I fucked up and I ordered Showdown in Little Tokyo, which I already have, uh, so I'm actually selling that to friend and fellow YouTuber DeepBoogie86, uh, so he asked me to put that aside to him, so that's over there, but, um, so I ended up really with only, well, three, I guess, if you count Popeye. But I grabbed this one, which is not a Warner Archive collection release, but it's still put out by Warner Brothers. And Derek actually informed me that this was part of the um, Batman cartoon box set that they had put out. So I really didn't need this. Um, but whatever, you know, it's a standalone disc. I love Sub-Zero. Um, so... I mean, Mr. Freeze, <laughs> uh, but Sub-Zero being the name of the thing. But yeah, I love uh, the villain, Mr. Freeze, so I uh, wanted to grab this, although I wouldn't have if I was not stupid and had realized that it was on the other thing. And then I grabbed this one, the Giant Behemoth, which I believe is pretty much the last uh, creature feature slash horror movie that I needed from uh, the Warner Archive collection, and now I have them all. Uh, so every other Warner Archive title, there are plenty I don't have, but I've got all the horror ones, so uh, this was the last one I needed. I think it's a fifth, late 50s creature feature, so sounds cool to me. Oh, there's a cat in the window. Pips in, I'm coming, my love. I'm coming. Don't cry for me, sweet Pips in. Ah. Very cool. Pips in, I'm coming. Don't cry for me, sweet Pips in. Ah. Never fails. It's okay, I just have it on pause. It's all good. Starting back. Pippi, I'll feed you in a few minutes, okay, boo? All right, guys, sorry about that. If I didn't go get her, then she would be crying throughout the whole video, and we don't want that. So, all right, so those are the Warner Archive titles. Oh, Pipsy, now, please don't cry. Um, and then I grabbed this one last week from Scorpion, or Ronin Flicks. This is Land of Doom. Um, yeah, this just seems like a badass action exploitation film, I guess. Um, starring Deborah Renard and Garrett Dowin. Uh, a 21st century Madland. Kind of reminds me of Mad Max or something. Maybe a Mad Max Road Warrior ripoff type movie. But it sounds fun, very cheesy, exploitation esque. Um, and then I grabbed a couple titles from 88 Films. I got The Devil Hunter. I grabbed these not, I mean, they've already been put out by Severin, but, but uh, 88 Films is giving them the beautiful standalone treatment, so I had to grab them. I mean, look at that artwork. And it has really cool reversible artwork as well, which I will show you. Um, so, yeah, I totally dig that. Uh, so, yeah, these are fun and they're great releases. Um, I don't think this is anything like any, it's not like a special line or anything from 88 because they have their vault and then their Asia but I guess you could just call this a video nasty standard edition but yeah so super rad love that and then I also grabbed this beautiful cover 
Carry uh, 2, The Rage, which was also put out by Scream Factory. Uh, a little two-disc edition as well. So I was happy to grab this two standalone edition. And it has a few exclusive um, features on this or, or uh, yeah, extra special features that are um, exclusive to this release. Uh, so, yeah, there's some of them on the back there. Hippie, what you doing? You're hurting dad. Keep saying I hurt dad by doing the dig. You do the dig on daddy's legs? Oh, they're so pity. Oh, such a pity girl, my love. Oh, yes. I like you. And last but not least for the stuff that I've already opened. Shout out to uh, Jarrett, um, friend and fellow YouTuber. Super nice dude. Um, and he told me about this. He posted something on my um, Facebook page uh, just mentioning, and he does that all the time. He's super cool. He, like if there's a cool release that's coming out, something that he knows that I might be interested in, he'll shoot me a little, um, post with a tag. And I always appreciate that. So, um, thank you very much, um, for sending me that over. And I went, I went ahead and grabbed it. So this is a really nice media book. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite, uh, werewolf films for sure. Uh, it's a really nice release. Basically, it's a 4K cut of the film. Also, a DVD and a bonus disc. So, I believe it's three uh, discs. And you get a mini booklet inside, obviously. Or, like in media book fashion, you get the, the discs and then the pamphlet kind of attached in media book fashion. So, it's a really, really nice, um, thick media book. And it's put out from Cook Films. So, they're great. So, you can't go wrong with that either. It's a beautiful release. Hey! Keep saying I can't to say hi to my friends. Look, Pippi. Say hi to the people. Yeah, you're so good. Oh, they're so pity. I love you. Yes, so so good. Oh, yes. Oh, you smell? I love that, too. She's got that nice winter smell. You know when a cat or a dog goes outside in the winter? Their fur starts to smell like the cold outdoors. I love it. Oh, yes, that's so good. Yes, my pretty girl. You're going to eat Dindin pretty soon, Pippi? That is hungry, too. So we'll both eat after I do the video. Okay, I'll eat. Now, I think I showed you guys Aquaman, but I'm not 100% sure if I did. I think I did show this, right? In my last update? Yeah, I did. Really nice media book, though. Oh, you're so good. Yes, you're so good. All right, guys. Let's get into the unboxing portion of this update. Hippie, you want to go up here? Here you go, love. You can go up if you want. It's up to you. So, um, we have a nice package that we ordered from Cavity Colors because Pipsy loves my hoodies. She likes to get them nice and hairy and sleep on them. Um, they all have the Pipsy trademark, so she basically doesn't let me wear anything unless it's covered in her fur. Um, so, she is definitely going to christen this hoodie just as soon as I do. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, anyways, yeah, uh, Cavity Colors doing what they do best. Some super rad artwork. Let's open this up. And we're going to try this on. I'm going to demonstrate the new size to see if it fits or if I'm too fat. We're going to find out because I went for a smaller size. Took a gamble. I have so many of these now. I just put one on my car. So what I ordered. It's already got. It's already been christened. Her hairs are already on it. So, I really, really dig the um, Cavity Colors hoodies. And what we do in the shadows, baby. Super sick hoodie. Super great movie. So, I had to grab that. Look how badass that is. So good. So good. So, yeah, this is from their What We Do in the Shadows line. And... I'm stoked, man. I actually, I'm not going to lie. I think that Cavity Colors does a better job with their hoodies than Fright Rags. Well, I don't know. I'd say they're about the same quality. Maybe a little bit nicer. Um, so, yeah, this thing is sick. Totally digging it. So, there it is. And I like this too. Little uh, coffin. Nosferatu. Or whatever. You know what I mean. I forget the character's name. but It's an awesome movie. It's great fun. Uh, vampire flick modern. 
what we do in the shadows. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it, but so yeah, uh, stoked on this. This is a really, really nice hoodie. All right, let's get into the update now. So first off, we're going to do the Ronin Flix release and then we'll, I'll save Corey's, um, package for the last thing I do. This took a while to come in. And I'm pretty sure that I got a second round of this, um, so I missed the magnet. Yeah, unfortunately, I missed the magnet. I was thinking maybe, just maybe, considering I'm such a good customer, they would have stuck it in there for me, but it doesn't look like they have any left. So, Dario Argenta's opera. I'm not special. I understand that. Um... <laughs> But uh, yeah, Dario Argento's Opera. This is a beautiful release, three disc. Probably the nicest Ronin, uh, Ronin slash Scorpion release to date. Uh, it took a long time, long time coming on this one as well. So very, very excited to own this. Um, and it's a thicker Blu-ray case. Wow, they really, really did give this the nice fine treatment. This was expensive. Uh, I think it was around 40 bucks, 50 bucks. So you're paying for the extra quality that's for sure so you get a nice slip cover a nice thick blu-ray case i'm sure this has been shown by everyone and their mother but you do get um the three discs one two three not sure what the hold up was for this release because the standard edition was released a while ago now um but this one took a few months to come out i think it's the last of the three right because now they've already re released the church Special edition as well as, um, what was the other one? There were three. Um, Argento slash um, Mikel Suave films that they put out. But this is the third and final. It's really, really, really nice. So there's all the special features. Nice three disc set. Very classy um, special edition as well. Sorry. There you go. Just doesn't want to stay in focus. Oh well, sorry guys. But really nice, so stoked to have that. And it was packaged very well as well. So not a crease or a blemish. All right, last but not least, we have a package from friend and fellow YouTuber, Corey's Crypt. Really, really cool dude, really funny. Um, and he hit me up after I did my last video where I, I had picked up um, the Steelbook and the standard release of uh, The Ring uh, from Arrow Video. And he was like, you know what? He hit me up shortly after that video because obviously I said that I missed out on the special edition release of The Ring. He hit me up and he's like, dude, I um, got that release. I watched all three films. I didn't like the any of them except for the first film. So if you send me the Steelbook and the standard release, as well as one other title, I will send you this. It was a Fiend um, Blu-ray game. So I gave him a really good deal. Uh, but I guess it kind of equals itself in value um, um, in the end. I mean, it was a fair trade for me. Because this is already... If it's not out of print, then it's close to. And I didn't want to spend 80 bucks on it. So I already had those titles on hand. I could just swap them out. Honestly, I may still buy the steelbook again just because i really liked it but i'll stop blabbing now we finally came to a trade and he was really cool he shipped it right out um for me the next day so Corey, when you get yours let me know um how it arrived obviously you packaged this one pretty well looking like i'm not gonna have any trouble getting into it all <laughs> as i say that i am having trouble but very very nicely packaged oh yeah bubble wrap to the extreme gotta say you probably did a slightly better job than i did with the packaging but you should be good so um very nice pack job oh yeah there it is beautiful there we have it guys, the ring box set from Aero Video. Super sweet. 
So what we have is we have the ring, the ring two, and the ring O, and then the booklet. And I don't believe there was a poster. Obviously, you would have sent that to me if there was. So you get a really, really nice booklet. I'm sure this has been seen a million times as well. I'm just stoked to have it because I missed out on it. And um, so thanks, dude. Thanks for shipping it to me in such stellar condition and for getting it out so quickly. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I love the smell of it, too. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. Uh, limited edition contents, brand new 4K restoration of the film, do, 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 do. lots of special features. You get a booklet, limited edition packaging featuring original and newly commissioned artwork. Um, well, let's check out the... Uh, let's see. So, new audio commentary, a vicious circle, a new camera interview, blah, blah, blah. The Psychology Fear, a newly edited archival interview. Okay, archival behind the scenes featurette. Uh, a limited 60-page booklet containing new writing by Violet Luca on Alexandra Heller Nicholas, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Limited edition packaging. Okay, yeah, so that's what it is. You get the 60-page booklet, the three discs, ring one, two, and O. Um, and then, of course, there's reversible cover artwork on each, uh, which looks like the original ring. That's the reversible on that is the Steelbook edition. I'm not going to take the time to open them all up, but... Um, Looks like we got all the discs. Everything is in mint condition, so we are good to go. Thank you so much, Corey, uh, for for making this dream come true. No, I'm just kidding. For for uh, hooking me up with this, um, and I'm stoked to say that I own this. So, are these films available individually, or is it just Ring One that's available in individually? I think that's it, right? Ring Two and O, you have to grab in the set. I could be wrong. If somebody knows the answer to that, let me know. But super stoked to have this. Thanks again, Corey. You the man. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it. I've been blabbing for 22 minutes. I'm Audi. Catch you later. Uh, pretty soon I'll have another video up with some new stuff. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Peace.